Lilith gliding through the skies. But amidst the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, jewel of the North. Behind the city's high walls, those of both hardy and brave carve out an existence from this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasser Alagondach. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. A virulent plague swept the city, a terrible affliction that began in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued. The streets erupted into violence. The jewel of the north was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Arabeth Thistle Moran, Paladin Mertir, and Lord Nasher's right hand put forth the call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call, some drawn by promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. And yet we're here just to help. Is the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes a champion might emerge to save the city from the wailing death and whatever sinister force might be behind. And now we, hey, did you know the only reason we have uh, a base 10 number system is because, yeah, actually, I did know that. Uh, I know that because you told me, Crow. Uh, but yeah, we're playing Neverwinter Nights. We ha I only have one, uh, one change to the game from normal. I have a setting on called Cartoon Mode that essentially um, makes the game uh, cell shaded. Um, so we're going to take off the commoner's tunic and put on that, and we're going to put this club in my hand, because I like clubs. Clubs are some of my favorite, one of my favorite weapons. And then we're probably going to sell this kettle helm later, but yeah, this is us. <laughs> no, Crow, you, you, you do say new and insightful things, but you tend to repeat yourself sometimes. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, I'm Isabel. Is it true what they say about you? That Lady Arabeth herself ordered the the Academy to send you an invitation to come here and, for training? I, you know, I, I don't know. I've never heard of anyone being invited to talk uh, to train at the Academy before. Usually people are begging to get in. It must be a great honor for you. Uh, it is both an honor and a privilege for me to serve Neverwinter. Neverwinter. Uh, you're pretty modest for someone who's uh, got such high expectations on her. It wasn't. It wasn't quite so easy for me to get into the academy. My brother Bim and I were working on one of uh, one of the nearby farms outside of the city when uh, we heard Lady Arabeth had put out a call for heroes to come and aid Neverwinter. Uh, we knew the city was suffering. But we didn't realize how bad things were until we got until we got here. We arrived just before they uh, sealed the gates and quarantined the city. Thank thank the gods we accept uh, we got accepted into the academy. I wouldn't want to be out there in the streets with the plague, not while uh, not with the city guards barely able to keep order any, any order anymore. Um. Uh, what do you mean the city guards barely able to keep order? Uh, the Wailing Death is a plague worse than any recorded in the entire history of Neverwinter. The, soul, the whole city has been quarantined. Nobody is allowed in or out. N uh, the Neverwinter militia do their best to enforce the quarantine, but people don't like uh, being trapped inside the walls of a plague-infested city. 
Every day, more bodies pile up in the, in the streets, and the citizens move one step closer to panic and, and open rebellion. Can't say I blame them. It's only a few, been a few months, and already the dead number in the thousands. Um, I'll be going now. Yeah, I guess you want to get on with your training. Yep, yep, I absolutely do. Thank you. Take that. Ultra Vision. Oh, that that's True Sight. That was the 3.5 uh, that was the 3.5 version of True Sight. Ultra Vision. We started with 50 gold. We now have 52. Game's been updated a little bit. No, I'm good. Thank you. The city guard are already having enough trouble maintaining control as it is. Uh, yeah. But you've heard all that before. Uh, ready. Continue. The reason I'm doing this tutorial um, is because uh, is guess I'd like a tutorial. Uh, the reason I'm doing this one is because it gives me a su free suit of chainmail. Put on that chain shirt, and then we're gonna uh, sell this. Sell the commoner's tunic. Sell that. Put these potions in our hot bar. Uh, plus twelve. Uh, and then we sell the short sword because I don't need it. Sell the helm because I don't need it. We're gonna buy a small shield. And equip that. Oh, I can't use a club and a... Ch That's weird. Okay. Probably should have kept that short sword. Um... Examine. 1d6. 1d6. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with... What, what's this? Uh, 1d6. We're gonna go with a hand axe. I like the hand axe. It's it's a good weapon. Um early early level uh, weapon. It's a good early level weapon. Uh, let's see what other armor you have besides just this chainmail. Necromancer's robe, my leather armor. Adept's tunic, commoner's tunic, leather armor. Uh, padded armor, gladiator's outfit, squire's tunic, soldier's tunic. Okay, cool. So no, no good armor. Miscellaneous. All right, so we are going to buy some healers kits. Two of them, because I, they're good. They're good. It's smart to have them. And we're going to buy just a fucking ton of these potions. Now we have eight of those, and that's all we can afford. Alright. Onward. To adventure. Yes, I am. Uh, instructor of the Academy would like to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the map and journal. Um, I'm not interested. Thank you. Uh, goodbye in dialogue. I already know how to use the map and journal. It's the M key and the J key. Uh, I don't really need it. Oh, the city of Luskin. Okay, cool. Uh, one of the other things that we will be doing in Neverwinter Nights specifically is we will be, uh, I will be collecting as many books as I can and putting them in a safe place. Oh, hey, 
they have they kind of have mitigated the, the rise of this place. Okay. My job to teach you new recruits tips and combat techniques. Okay. Uh, I know all I need to know about combat. All right, let's get this over with. Uh, sir, yes, sir, I'm ready. Um, sir, yes, sir. Uh, sir, yes, sir, yep. Go speak to my assistants, Corporal Dendy. South end of the room, test you in melee weapons combat. All right, cool. You're... Nope, not you. I don't need to talk to you. I need to talk to... Oh, this is this is where I get the um, the like uh, ranged weapons. Um, I only use one type of ranged weapon though, and that's a sling. Um, so the sling is gonna go right here. Uh, the reason I took the um, I took the other two is because I can go back to the dude that had all of the stuff, like the the merchant. And sell the academy shit back to him. Show me what you have for sale. Buy your stuff back. Now we have nine healing potions, which is honestly more than enough. But that's what we're going to go with. Nine healing potions to start the game. Uh, that way we can, yeah, get, do that. And now we're going to go ahead this way. This guy. We better talk to him. Dendi. I am ready for my combat trial. We're gonna attack this this uh, this this dummy with my with my brand new hand axe. the The engine of this game makes Bell dummy thick. I'm ready for my ranged combat test. So this is where we switch over to the sling, and then attack! Okay? Thank you! Uh, okay, now, now I go... Uh, now I get to go see Lady Arabeth de Tilmoran, uh, one of the inspiration characters that made me pick a paladin. Um, so Lady Arabeth de Tilmoran is a paladin of Tear. She is a lore character. She's in se she's been in several books, um, and we get to go meet her. Uh, one other thing that we get to do if we were like a rogue character is we get to go in here. Actually, I think this may be the mage instructor. Yeah, this is the ma the magic instructor. They will teach me, like, uh, different mage spells, like Melf's Acid Arrow and Magic Missile. Um, and that's kind of how that works. Uh, the other cool thing about this particular game, Neverwinter Nights, is that this game is multiplayer. It was one of the first mu uh, multiplayer-intended games. There's the shield spell. Uh, the War of Light and Darkness, uh, uh, History of the Creator Races. We're gonna we're gonna collect as many of these books in this game as we can, um, and then we're gonna go sell uh, Dude Bro his his. Uh, we're gonna go sell the merchant all of the academy's things. Um, so the Sword Coast. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make we're gonna make a whole separate tab just for books.
And then now we have, uh, a, like, a whole mini library in our inventory. Eventually, we will need this, uh, this, this, uh, thing. And we're gonna put healing items down here. So our healer's kit. Weapons over here. I know, uh, item management is just the most riveting of, of, of content, but, uh, oh. What is that? I think this is a statue of Mistra. Why am I speaking to you? Are you are you sure you're in the right place? Like, like you don't you don't particularly look like a wizard. I love that. I love that he's just like, hey, you know, I don't mean to be mean. I'm not trying to be rude or nothing. But are you sure you're supposed to be here? Uh <laughs> no, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here, as a matter of fact. But what I'm doing is robbing you, Jeru. Um uh, Oh, this is where clerics are trained. I do. I do shop in this game. I shop in this game a lot. Um, uh, I don't want to speak with you, old one. This is where rogues are trained, obviously, because you can see, you know, the rogue. There's traps in this room that I can't, uh, that I can't disarm, because I don't have any disarm trap levels. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I do in fact shop in this game. As a matter of fact, we're going to go do some of that right now. Uh, they recently updated the game so that the out, the like um, layout of the academy is different, which I think is really cool. In the door. Thank you. Yep. You're going to buy these scrolls from me that I stole from the mages. Thank you. This is a D4. Yeah, that's a D4. I wish that I was that small races could use quarter staffs, but we can't, unfortunately. All right, now we're gonna head in to see Lady Arabeth de Tilmoran. I don't want to learn about my journal. Thank you. I already know about my journal. I'll be going now. Thank you. So this is the inner sanctum of the uh, of the uh, of freaking uh, I I think this is just the Neverwinter Academy is what this place is called. Um, I can rob this place as well. Healing items on tab two. This is Lady Arabeth de Tilmoran, half elf paladin of Tear. Her armor is fucking dope.
Um, let's see. So we now we need to talk to Arabeth. So we're gonna do that. Tyr is the god of law and justice. Thank you. I didn't feel it, but okay. If we're under attack, we're under attack. Are all of the other... Yeah, the, the other... The other... Uh, oh, well, they, they died. Hey, stop that. Stop killing my... Did you just kill one... Kill someone with a ray of frost? You asshole? Of course it's just me, Lady Arabeth, and the wizard and the dwarf that survive. Alrighty, so I need to take a break so I can take my heart medication and uh, and so that I can let my dogs out. So I'm going to take a quick uh, maybe 10-15 minute break. We're going to go ahead and save the game. Um, so many. Um, I have so many saves. Um, and then uh, I will be back very shortly. Um, you folks, just bear with me. I'll be right back. Uh, sorry for the wait. I did have to throw, you know, food in my mouth really quickly. Um, I was friggin' starving. Um, we're gonna turn the sound up a bit. Um, the voice volumes. Music volume and sound effect volumes. And then we're going to save it, and then we're going to save again, and straight back, yep. And then, is it just not picking up my desktop audio? Properly. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Is it making noise, uh, y'all? Can y'all can y'all hear the game at all? 
now that it's it's active again. It should be yeah okay. So it did make some noise, at least. Um, I'm gonna make it where I can hear. Hear shit. Okay. I just gotta turn that up a little bit, and then yeah. There we go. Now we can. Now now it's making noises again. Welcome back. Uh, okay, now we are fighting some gobos. I am about goblin sized. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna keep fighting. Uh, I don't know how this experience. Well, actually, I do. Man's wearing padded armor. Buy a chain shirt, my guy. Uh, <laughs> this fighter here is wearing padded armor, and uh, that's why he died. Because fighters in padded armor get their asses kicked. More gobos. Oh no! All of my in the instructors are dead. Sorry about that. That was my 5 o'clock alarm telling me to take the meds that I just took. Uh, two gold! Uh, these people are all dead. I think this is trapped. I think this is gonna kill me. Uh, pick unlock. Net will never be possible. That's unfortunate. Alright, cool. <laughs> so we're gonna go through and we're gonna fight all of the things that are available to fight because it gives us a, a good bit of gold. Always get my way. Um, that way, that way we can uh, clear the academy of these of these weak goblins. See, this lady was in in armor, but I bet you she didn't have a weapon. Another three pieces of gold. Good, because we're saving up for some plate armor. At least that's what I'm doing. I'm saving for plate armor. Uh, I'm going to clear the academy before I advance. Uh, I'm going to go kill uh, all the goblins that are fidgeting in, the, in these rooms. Yeah, see, he's just a run-of-the-mill wizard. That's why he's dead. Dies of 1d4 with being a wizard damage. That was funky. I just, like, clipped through that wall... I would also like to thank everybody that's here. Uh, thank you all for watching, even you know, even just by watching and and sharing the sharing the stream. It means a whole lot to me that you're you know you're here. Ooh, another health potion. That's that's really good actually. Um, so we're gonna keep exploring, seeing if there's gobo gobos. There is a gobo right here uh, to slay. So we're gonna slay this goblin um, because they've killed all of our uh, all of the instructors and all of the, the people in this area. Uh, no loot from that goblin. Oh, hey, more goblins. Now we go to fight more more of the gobos. So we're gonna go explore in here. So in here is a like a bestiary. So like we've got a, a fire a, a stag beetle here. We've got uh, I think a phase spider. No, a dire spider. Um, we've got a hook horror, the monster from the Underdark. Uh, we've got an Umber Hulk, one of my favorite D and D monsters ever, the Umber Hulk, giant bastard that he is. And then this is an Edder Cap. So Edder Caps are essentially humanoid spiders. They're creepy as all hell. Uh, probably my least favorite D and D monster. Uh, hence why they are never in my ooh, a book. Hence why they are never in my my D and D campaigns. We're gonna keep exploring, seeing if there's any more goblins. Uh, there's probably not, so we're just gonna keep going. Um, 
So my health, I'm I've lost a bit of health, not a whole lot, but I've lost a bit. So uh, here in a little, uh, here in a bit, we're gonna go after we finish clearing out the um, the Neverwinter Academy. Um, we are going to. Oh, yep, there, there's there's another goblin. Um, after we finish clearing out the Neverwinter Academy, we're going to uh, to rest and then head in. Leadership of Neverwinter, another book to, to carry. Gathering up a small library. Uh, okay, so we're gonna slay this goblin. Attack of opportunity, and dead. Cool. Oh no, the merchant's dead, and I can't move his corpse. This goblin has a negative energy race spell. Scroll of negative energy. So we're gonna go in here. Uh, oh no! Bim is dead! But there are no goblins in here. And where's Pavel? Did my game just crash? Oh no, no it did not. Okay, cool. Accidentally clicked off of it. Alrighty, so we're gonna continue to explore. Uh, I believe we've cleared the entirety of the Neverwinter Academy. So we're gonna go ahead and go into that locked door that Lady Arabeth gave us a key for. Um, since we killed pretty much everything in that in this room in this area of the academy. Made it, we've made this area safe. So we're gonna continue on into the rest of the academy. I'll put you in place. More weak gobos. We will equip that, actually, because it'll help us, it'll give us, uh, like, uh, I think it's plus three on fortitude saves. Which is always good. And then we kind of gl uh, glance over all these things, just to make sure they're, they're not lootable. There's another chest right here. Uh, three more healing potions. Heck yeah. All right, we're going to continue to head in here. And hey, look, it's Pavel. Thank the gods you are here. I thought those goblins were going to be the death of me. Uh, it's me, Pavel. Remember, this whole place is crawling with enemies. They killed my brother, Bim. Please, Isabel, uh, you, have, uh, you have to let me join up. Yeah, okay. Everybody needs uh, help from someone. Hello, welcome. Uh, yeah. I think I already have this book. History of the Creator Races. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I already have this book. I don't need to grab it again. This man cleared out, like, an entire room. Ooh, split mail. That's better than what I'm wearing. So... By how much is it better than what I'm wearing? Uh, armor class six. Armor class four. Okay, so it'll be uh, a good bit better, as a matter of fact. 
Um, well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go in this room first. See what's in here. Skeleton. I'll put you in your place. There we go. Good job, Pavel. Pavel's weapon is good for the with the skeletons. Mine in particular is pretty good for, for slaying goblins, because it's just a little axe. Attack opportunity. Tiny, tiny little little halfling in the uh, uh, split mail. I think one of these chests is trapped. Okay, we don't... I don't need this bolt. Uh, what else don't I need? I think that's all I, I have. I think this one's probably trapped. No! Potion of Cure Serious Wounds. So we're gonna put that in here. That way it, it's, you know, good and... Good and this one. This one is trapped. No! Usually there's a trapped chest. I have, I have been mistaken. I always get my way. Dead goblin. Sweet. An amethyst. All right, cool. That's another, another sellable item. Thank, thank you, Zana. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm ready to learn how to level up. Ready. Simple enough. Go on. I understand anything else. Okay, and now we just hit C and we hit click to level up. We're going to continue down the path of the Paladin. Um, I have two points I can put in. We're going to put one into heal and then one into parry. That way we can heal better and we can absolutely fucking destroy people. Um, so... Uh, heal, and then parry so that they can't fucking hit us. Or, no, no. One into parry, one, uh, one into heal, one into parry. Uh, and then we get Aura of Courage and Smite Evil. Special ability. Uh, lay on hands. Or no. Clear, because lay on hands is already a thing. Special ability. Smite evil. Do I already have the ability to summon my mount? Hold on. No, not yet. I don't have... Nope, I do not have my... My mount just yet. Uh, later... As a paladin, I am able to summon a mount, which is pretty cool. So we're going to double back, see what was in that other room that we didn't explore before, because the, this is progress, and I want to go, and I don't particularly always do immediate progress when I, when I do things. We're going to explore this way. Another goblin! Dead Gobbo. Any remains? Yes. Okay. Ooh, Gloves of Discipline. All right. Gloves of Discipline. There's plus three to Discipline. I'm going to go ahead and equip those because that's really good, actually. Those are really good for our Paladin. No? Okay, cool. We're gonna keep going. And then we're gonna rest. Oh, can't rest while there are enemies nearby. That's fine. 
think in here there's nope. I think this is just a safe room. No. Nope. Still can't rest. That's okay. Uh, we're just gonna chug us a potion. That way I'm full health when I go into this room. So many dead goblins. This is, I believe, a storeroom. Ooh, okay, bull strength. That's a good potion. Three gold pieces, uh, moderate wounds potion, alright, I think that's it, that's everything in that room, um, we're gonna keep going. I think this is another storeroom. Oh, skeleton! So eventually we can do like turn undead. Uh, actually, I think I can turn undead now. Um, but if it, but turn, I can turn undead. And I can, uh, like, I can, I can make, uh, the, the, the skeletons disappear. It's pretty dope. Um, War of Light and Darkness, already have that book. Is there, some Is there something we need? Yeah, actually, no. No, Pavel, there's not. I'm good. We're just gonna continue to progress the game. Um, oh, that's a corpse I can loot. Thank you. Another suit of splint mail that I don't need. Cool. Goblin. There we fucking go. Kicking gobble butt one goblin at a time. This will go in our stuff to sell tab. Just like these will also go in our stuff to sell tab. Ooh, another healer's kit. That is super fucking uh, useful. Another small library full of skeletons. Bim, you have the flail, do your job! Kill the skelly! Alchemist apparatus. Ooh, okay, cool. So what's this? Um, Cat's Grace! It's another enhanced ability spell, uh, enhanced ability uh, potion, which is fucking great, actually. We'll put that at the top there. Ooh, spike trap. Go ahead and 
goblins before I go and before we we uh, loot this chest. Oh wait, no, I can, I can just stay, go ahead and loot the chest while I'm fighting. And also loot the goblins' bodies, which is great. Cell tab. Yes. This Never is mind, Paul. I don't. I don't. You're. You know. You're. You're a good NPC, but I have very little interest in you. Thank you, Paul. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. So we're going to advance. If you are my side. Ooh, that side. All right. So this is the mage that keeps summoning things. We're gonna kick his ass first. Let's go. Let's go. Drink. Drink, 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 drink. drink another potion. Thank you. Hey. Bobble, the battle's not over yet. Amazing. Okay. So I can I am now over encumbered. Because split mail. Uh, and this very, very beautiful half plate that I've just put on. It's really pretty and I really like it. I'm going to walk very slowly to this box. And loot all of them. Because from now on, I'm going to walk very slowly. At least till the end of this tutorial when I can, where I can sell things. Either of these corpses? No. Okay, cool. Alright, this is the end of the tutorial. So we have a dryad, an intellect devourer, a yuan-ti. Oh, hey, a goblin boss. Bobble, don't die. For justice. Okay. So, we have defeated the goblins. We've cleared the entirety of the academy. Now we speak to these two. It's night. The princes are lost. The academy students slain. No! This cannot be! How could this happen? This is Fenthic Moss, everyone. All is lost, Fenthic. The nymph has fled. The Yonti and the other creatures have escaped into the streets of the city. And where was Erebeth during all this? Uh, you are stu the student she sent? Did Erebeth really think a whelp such as you, uh, such as this, could defend the water Davian creatures? She should have come herself. Is she re really so blind, Fenthic? Deathter, I will I will have you speak no more of, uh, ill of Lady Arabeth. She did what she thought best. Bah! I know uh, of the feelings you and the lady have for each other, but it does nothing to change the facts. She was wrong to bring these creatures here, destroying his argument with facts and logic. Uh... <laughs> I will leave you and your lady love to clean up this mess, Fenthic. I must go and make arrangements to recover the cure Erebeth so carelessly lost. I need to speak to you. Uh, yeah, what's up, Pavel? Uh, yeah, what up? What up, Pavel? I owe you my life. Without you, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made it out of, out of here. I, I could have died just like my brother. You've got what it takes to be a, a great hero. Maybe even a legend, but this life isn't for me. I know that now. You just have to stick with it, Pavel. All I could think about in there was how afraid I, of, I was of dying. I wanted to curl up in a corner and just close my eyes to everything. Those aren't the thoughts of a hero. Actually, it's braver to admit that you're scared and then keep going than it, than it is to just pretend you're not. Thank you once more for saving me. I know you'll be a great hero someday. 
but I don't want to risk my neck in, for fame and fortune. I'm no hero. I just want a nice, quiet life. I doubt our paths will cross again anytime soon. Goodbye. And good luck. Must forgive Destro. The strain of the Wailing Death weighs heavily on the Hellmites. As their leader, Destro has worked long and hard to help ease the suffering of Netherwave. And this most recent setback has upset him greatly. I'm Fenthic Moss, priest of Tyr and companion of the Lady Arabeth. You must be the student Arabeth told me about. Yes, I am Isabel. Defter and I arrived, well, with reinforcements shortly after the attack began. We found Arabeth in the south assembly chamber, uh, hard-pressed by dozens of mysterious assailants. We managed to drive off the attackers, and Arabeth told us she had sent one of the students uh, on ahead to defend the Waterdavian portion. While Arabeth, uh, how did these motherfuckers get to the chamber before me? That's what I want to know. How did you get to the stables before me? Because I didn't see you in the academy, you dicks. meet you at the Hall of Justice. And we level up again! Our third level in Paladin. The actual campaign starts at third level. That's, this is one of the reasons why I do uh, third level as the um, the like uh, lore rolled uh, against an unidentified item. Item properties. Oh, we actually, I should, I should definitely put points into lore. Um... They did speedrun strat called I'm an NPC, get over it. Yeah, yeah, you, you're absolutely right. Um, so we're going to do uh, improved initiative, great fortitude. What is it that way? Uh, plus two bonus to all fortitude saving throws. No. Um, power attack is a good idea. Minus five to the attack roll, but it does more. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, no, because I, I don't use two weapons. Probably going to use a lot. Skill focus, present, uh, present skills physically, yeah. Um, so we're going to do weapon focus, uh, and that weapon is going to be, um, hmm, that's a good question. What weapon should it be? I'm thinking it's going to probably be the, the, the hand axe, because I want, uh, should it be the hand axe or should it be the mace? Because I want a mace later on. Well, this is 3.5. Um, this is what uh, this is what um, Pathfinder was based on. We're gonna do the mace because later on I'm gonna get a mace and it's gonna be great. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head on into uh, the city of Neverwinter. Me and my over encumbered ass. In one brutal attack, the promise of those at the academy had been all but snuffed out. Hope disappeared with the Waterdavian creatures, and the weight of the terrible sickness pressed down on the city once more. Even more chilling, the whispered rumors of enemies seeking to destroy Neverwinter from within had proved true, though the identity of those responsible for the slaughter was as yet unknown. Still, a flicker of hope yet remained, for not all had died in the attack. From the bloody carnage at the Academy, a survivor had stepped forward, a champion to carry the torch in this darkest hour. Yeah, Weaver, um, this game is based on D&D uh, 3.5, or no, D&D 3rd Edition, and then the next game, Neverwinter Nights 2, is based on 3.5. May 3.5 made some quality of life changes that made it a little, you know, the game a little less clunky, like, um, like, shorter races being able to use, like, long swords and shit. Um, the uh, Pathfinder, essentially, the way I explain it, is 3.8. When, um, when D&D moved over from 3rd edition to 4th edition, um, 
allow me to be the first to have one section the halls of justice when third edition when D, D moved from third to fourth edition um they made a new ogl specifically for fourth edition where uh it was a uh where you had to give um wizards a bunch of money to make proprietary content for fourth edition because wizards was going to have a vtt kind of like the ogl that they were trying to pass with one D D earlier this year um they that VTT crashed and burned, and we got Roll20 out of it. Uh, but that's why 4th Edition felt video gamey, was because it was meant to be played virtually. If you play D&D 4th Edition uh, in, like, Roll20, it plays so much better than it did on tabletop. Um, but three, but when that happened, Paizo, who at the time were just making Dungeons & Dragons 3rd Edition adventures, went, well, what if we made our own system based on 3.5? So they made Pathfinder, and that became essentially 3.8. And now Pathfinder 2nd Edition took some of the things from 4th Edition, some of the things from 5th Edition, and their own mechanics from Pathfinder, and mushed them all together. And that's how I... And made it pretty much where they're not using any of, like, the explicit, like, properties of, um, of, uh, of Wizards of the Coast. And that's why it's not under the OGL, the original OGL, uh, because it is its own property, and Pathfinder is able to stand on its own now. Um, and that's kind of what the difference between uh, this game and like several other games. We know nothing about this wealth. How can you so kindly trust them? Yeah, exactly. That is exactly what Pathfinder did. It was wow. Uh, uh, it was fine. I'll do it myself, and then and then they improved it. Um, I've played literally every edition of Dungeons and Dragons, um, from the basic, uh, from basic D and D to um, to uh, fifth edition, uh, and then I've played, I've played both both editions of Pathfinder, and right now I'm working on my own system, which is uh, known as Adventure Awaits, which is a rules light system. But until then, I'm also learning. Um, I am also learning um, basic fantasy on the academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had i need you to help recover that which we have lost so think more simplified than 5e um basically it's meant to be a throwback to basic the basic edition of dungeons and dragons where if you really wanted to you could straight up make your character sheet on a piece of loose leaf paper um but yeah no that's that's kind of uh, it is a more role play focused uh less rules and uh, less rule uh filled uh game uh which hopefully it'll be done within the next 2 or 3 years but we'll see <laughs> cuz i had had a lot of things specifically a heart transplant um to that have kind of slowed that process down um but yeah uh other than that yeah it's it's coming along nice um Okay, so we are, I'm going to stop the...